All right, so this is section 9.2 on series, uh, specifically on geometric series. Uh, we just finished talking about how a sequence is an infinite list of numbers. So for example, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, et cetera. A series is a very related, but with one key difference. Uh, a series is gonna be the sum of an infinite list of numbers. So rather than just listing these things out, we're gonna say that the series is the sum of two plus four plus six plus eight plus 10 plus 12, et cetera. Um, so that's one example. Another example might be something like one plus 0.1 plus 0.01 plus 0 0.001, et cetera. Okay, so we have, we have two examples. I wanna point out that this first example, since we're adding all of these things together, and since the, the sequence, it, since these numbers keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, uh, this first number is going to actually be infinite. So we say that this diverges. All right, and I want to contrast that to the second example. If we take 1 and add it to 0.1 and add it to 0.01, etc., this thing is going to end up being 1.11111 etc. Uh, which we could also write as 1.1 repeating, if, if you've seen that before. Uh, this just means that this number is going to be repeating. Uh, and this thing also ends up ha happening to be uh, 1 and a ninth. Cool. So this second series, which is a sum of a bunch of numbers, ends up being some finite number. So we're going to say that this converges. Um, and so this sort of brings us to the question of how can you tell if a series converges or not? So the big question uh, for not just this section, but really for the rest of the chapter uh, is gonna be when uh, is a series some finite number? Uh, so when is a series like the second example where it's some finite number uh, as opposed to some infinitely large thing? Um, and the answer uh, is, well, actually, it takes a little bit more work than just some, some, some really quick test. Uh, so for the answer, we're gonna, just going to say, we'll see. Uh, basically, the next week or so, we're going to be talking about how we can determine if a series ends up being something finite or if it diverges. Okay, now... I can get rid of that. Okay, so that said, there is one series, one type of series that we can actually answer this question about right, right now. Uh, and that type of series is called a geometric series. So a geometric series is something of this form. We've got some constant times, uh, a constant plus a constant times a number plus that constant times the number squared etc. Um, which written this way looks looks weird, but I want to point out that the second example is a great example of, of, of when that happens. So one, one way of determining if something is, ge is a geometric series is that you can ask yourself, all right, how do we get from the first term to the second term? And so like, well, we can do that by multiplying by some number. We get from the second term to the third term, if we, if we do that by multiplying by the same number, that's an indication that we are working with a geometric series. So for exa so our, our example two here is a geometric series with, let me scroll down a little bit. Uh, so our example two, which was the example one plus 0.1 plus 0.01, is a geometric series with a equal to one and x equal to 0.1. And again, a way of determining that is saying, all right, how do we get from the first term to the second term? And is, if, is that multiplying by something? And does that rule apply for the rest of this of the series? Cool. So that's a geometric series. Uh, just for a little bit more, another example would be something like three, uh, plus, let's say, 6, plus 12, plus 24, plus 48, 
plus 96. And so uh, looking at this, we, we, we're not going to guess at what the pattern is. We can ask ourselves, how do we get from three to six? And then how do we get from six to 12, et cetera? And after looking at this a little bit, you might realize that, well, we can do each of these next steps by multiplying by two. So whenever it's possible to, to get to, uh, whenever the rule is multiply by some fixed number, that's an indication that we have a geometric series. So in this case, our a is three and our x is two. Okay, so this second example is an example that diverges. These numbers keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The first example converges as we saw a minute ago. Okay, so the question that I want you to think about on, on your own for, for, for a minute or two is what about, or what, what makes one of these series diverge while the other one converges? What about these values A and X, or what attributes of, of these series uh, might indicate that something converges or diverges? So take a minute and try it on your own first. Uh, if you get stuck, or once you get it, if you want to check your answers, uh, this is in the book, section 9.2. Um, so take a look at that. 